Imagine taking your car to be repaired only to lose that car after the repair shop goes up in flames. That's what happened to one local man after a fire at the Sandy Run repair shop earlier this year. WIS's Emily Scarlett is live from the scene of that fire on North Main Street and has more. Emily. The fire happened back in February of this year, but as you can see, the scorched building is still standing. And so is the damaged car of Scott Brown. His car was towed here just hours before the fire. He says since then he hasn't gotten any help with the cost. Like I was thrown out into the cold. Um, actually, it's the heat, um, but I, I feel like I was thrown under the bus in this incident. Scott Brown says he doesn't blame Sandy Run towing for the fire, only how they've handled everything ever since. Probably about a year before my grandmother passed away, she gave me uh, this 2004 Suzuki XL7. The car he says held sentimental value started having brake issues earlier this year. No, I'd never used them. I'd heard of them. I decided to let my friend who works for Sandy Run Towing tow this vehicle over to them. He's a friend of mine. So I picked, I picked his car up at work and took it to the shop because he needed front rotors and brakes put on. Greg, now living out of state, was once a Sandy Run tow truck driver. And what was supposed to be a short visit for Scott's car said they would have it done by five o'clock turned into a much longer stay than expected. Our mechanic didn't get to it till right around five o'clock and the brakes were in stock across the street, but not the rotors. We had to wait till the next day and then that night it burned. My cousin was watching WIS and he called me and wanted to know, you know, what wasn't your car at Sandy Run? Don't you know that they burnt to the ground? I've been getting a terrible runaround from insurance companies and it seems like no one wants to take the blame. We tracked down the repair shop owners operating a new business just blocks away. The insurance company refused to pay us because they say it's a building problem which will fall under the responsibility of the owner of the building. He says he and his co-owner own the repair shop, not the building. They're going to have to get it from the owner, the owner, some kind of way. Her name is Sheila Johnson. She lives in prosperity. She don't have no insurance. Scott says while he did have insurance. My insurance is with USAA and through them I only had liability coverage since I didn't have full coverage on the vehicle that they really couldn't help me out in any way. And I'm going to have to be forced to, to contact an attorney to recoup what little money I can. I can understand the frustration, believe me. That's why I'm giving them information, who to go after, and take care of whatever they got to be taken care of. As for the owner, Sheila Johnson, her address is written on the notice from the state posted to the front door. It's the only contact information we've been able to find for her. Live in Columbia, Emily Scarlett, WIS News 10.